Hey everyone, I'm Eric Lima. You're watching the 406th episode of my YouTube show, The People's Lima. How's everyone out there doing? Now, I want. I decided to watch some YouTube videos of uh, celebrities surprising their biggest fans, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever to watch. And uh, I want to give a shout out to the person who's been making those compilation videos to keep it up. The great work. Don't know her name, but I think she's a big celebrity fan herself. Which kind of, those videos would kind of inspire me to to uh, ask myself, and I'm sure a lot of folks out there, like you guys out there, have been asking: Does Eric have a favorite celebrity? Does he have a favorite actor, or a favorite actress? You know, all these years I've been watching TV and going on the internet and all that. Um, there's a lot of uh, of celebrities I like out there, and I follow a lot of them on Twitter. You know, I had an honor of having a few of them follow me on Twitter, like David Hasselhoff and Jenny McCarthy and Debbie Gibson. I thought it was really cool of them to follow me, and I'm honored. And I want to say thank you. you. know, But if there was somebody that I really want to meet, a, a celebrity, now out of the male side, I've always wanted to meet George Clooney. I think George Clooney is a really cool dude. He's a funny dude. He's a heck of an actor, you know. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I was big, a, a, such a big fan of him. I try to, whenever time I wanted a haircut, I wanted a George Clooney style haircut. I think I, since he pre impresses the ladies with his looks, I figured I'd do the same thing, you know. And so, yeah, George Clooney would be one guy I, I want to meet, and another guy I would like to meet, uh, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, uh, is another funny guy out there, and uh, been a big fan of him since not, um, 1998. I've been actually. Further than that, '96 when he first joined the WWE as Rocky Maivia, because I was a fan of history, and he made history by being the first ge third generation superstar in WWE history. So, and um, he, ex he exceeded the ex expectations that was that was made for him, and I'm sure his father and grandfather are very proud of him. And you know, and that's and but I was. I became more of a fan when he started leading the nation of domination. Has his own theme song, his own catchphrase, and he starts, you know, you know, cutting the promos, making fun of every wrestler there is. I thought, you know, it makes me laugh to see what he does. And you know, I booed him for a bit when he was with the corporation, and when he kicked him out, yeah, you know, I thought it was, and it was really cool. You know, Rock likes to make people laugh and entertain and have a good time, and he he transcends that into Hollywood, and because he accomplished everything here in the WWE, is that. He wants to transcend you know, what he learned into Hollywood. He's done. He's one of the biggest stars ever. In fact, um, starring in the movie Baywatch, he's going to star in, in, uh, in a Baywatch movie, and David Hasselhoff's going to be in it too. So I thought that was very interesting, to say the least. So I'm mean, having a lot of fun with that. So, so yeah. So George Clooney and Dwayne the Rock Johnson are two guy, uh, two actors I want to meet. Um, well, let's see, Hugh Jackman will be another actor I want to meet too. I thought he's really cool. You know, an Arnold Schwarzenegger. Another guy, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You see, as far as comedians go, hmm. uh, Jeff Dunham, I wanted to meet him. Uh, Gabriel Glacius is another, and he follows me on Twitter as well. And um, Jim Carrey. Hmm. Jim Carrey. Uh, how about the actresses? So that's a very, very difficult decision for me to make on that one because there's lots of beautiful women out there. You know, Jennifer Lopez is one of them, of course. Jennifer Love Hewitt will be another. Oh boy, um, um, Nadia Bjorlin. Uh, that name, if you don't recognize the name, um, if you go on, if you Google Days Are Alive, she, um, she was part of that show for a long time. And when I first saw her, um, I saw her on a TV guide because I bought it with The Rock. Is it had The Rock on the front cover? But it was an article about her inside. And I thought, oh boy, she, she's freaking beautiful. She like, she kind of reminded me of Carmen Electra. Not that she was totally hot, you know. So, and she follows me on Twitter, too, so I'm honored about that. Uh, oh, boy. And uh, another one, uh, Tiffany Thiessen. I used to have a crush on her back in the 90s uh, when she played Kelly Kapowski in Shaved by the Bell. Saved by the Bell. And then she was really hot, uh, gotten hotter on uh, uh, 902, Beverly Hills 90210. And I was like, wow. You know, I thought she was, like, totally, like a knockout. And, uh, well, both ladies have settled down, unfortunately. So I was like, you know. You know, let's see. On the music side, Mariah Carey would be one of them. The Spice Girls would be another for me. Uh, the male side, you know, Backstreet Boys are really cool. I like them. You know, they were, and NSYNC was another one. Uh, Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin, you know. And uh, let's see. Well, other, uh, I like Duran Duran. And, you know, it's, it's tough to pick out one favorite celebrity, male or female, out of all the celebrities I like. For me, it's like 
It's like each and every one of them, you know, really appeal. So, like, anytime a big celebrity, if I run into a big celebrity, I'd be shocked and stunned. At first, uh, and the second question is an honor to meet you. Um, got a question for you. What brings you here to this neck of the woods? You know, just, you know, as a little, like, what brings you here to this neck of the woods? You know, it gets really crazy. You get crazy drivers out there, man. <laughs> I would made a joke about uh, this morning when the, well, the roads were icy. Look at you know, so. So yeah, it's always difficult to pick uh, to choose choose a favorite celebrity or celebrities, you know. And and I'd be going all white making a list like Chris Jericho when how many holds he's mastered, and you know, all that. So I figured it'd be pretty good. So what would I do if I meet like a major celebrity? You know, I would say I would be like shocked at first. I'm like, I would like looking around going, is there is there a candid camera or something like that? I know that show's been off the air, well, like a third place contestant or remote control, but. Is Candy Camera still around, or or is Ashton Kutcher? I'm not. I'm not being punked, am I? Just looking around, going, is is this is this guy for real or something like that? You know, I'm like, yeah, you know, you kidding me, right? You know, <laughs> you know, and I know we had Bill Clinton here, the first major celebrity to visit New Bedford since the since Boys to Men back in '95 or '96. I think it was '96, because I remember listening to Fox Kids Countdown, and uh, when my room was. Like upstairs, a couple of floors above me. In fact, right above me, uh, a couple of floors above me in this house was was a room of mine. So it was, it was, it was kind of uh, really cool to see that, and just to you know, so I had an old school radio from back in the day. It's like, oh my god, you know. So, anyways, so yeah, big fan. Uh, um, so actually, hold on, breathe. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's it's like, you know, it's really surreal when you meet... Have I met celebrities in real life? Well, I met WWE Hall of Famers, um, tag team the Bushwhackers, got a picture with them, and also I got a picture with ECW, WWE superstar Spike Dudley. And um, I did see um, Bruce Bar Beefcake and Greg the Hammer Valentine live, but didn't get a picture with either of them back then, so, it's like, I kind of regret that, so, uh, you know, and, um, I did have another picture with an ECW, uh, superstar, Chris Hamrick, who was a confederate back then, he was really cool, so, so, that was another guy that I had a picture with that I thought was really cool, um, boy, it's, you know, it's, like I said, it's been surreal, you know, because you never know who you're going to run into, and that's the fun part, so, It'll be very interesting to see what happens, and if we have, if I met any celebrities, or not, I'd be shocked. So, but uh, you know, but anyways, well, I gotta end it here. Um, tomorrow is a big day because it's my birthday. Got church tomorrow, my birthday, and uh, got a lot, a lot of stuff to do, a lot of things planned. So hopefully, they will you know, be all right. And uh, so, to all my family, relatives, and friends, keep it homey fresh if you're watching this, and. To everyone else, peace, love, and recycle, and be a difference, make a difference, be it, be to change people, be an inspiration. So, uh, and be and, and be great. So, have a wonderful night. See you all tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll do my birthday show for tomorrow, and just uh, hopefully we're gonna have a little bit of fun. All right. So, peace out, love, and uh, God's blessings to you all.